When he told his mom, he told Debbie, Mama Croft, Ma, I won $2,000 in a trip to Vegas to go <laughs> represent the Seattle Seahawks in the club event. Her reaction was, Daniel, what scam did you get ca caught up in? She didn't even believe that this was happening. Well, guess what, Mama Croft? It's happening. Your son is going up against last year's number one player in the world, and this is going to be a phenomenal matchup. Of course, he was here in Vegas for the Classic. Got his beak wet a little bit to get ready, but nothing can really prepare you to play Young Kiv. Oh man, Young Kiv has just been one of the best players for the last two or three years. And when I say best player, Scott, I don't mean top ten, top one, two, or three type of player. He is the cream of the crop when it comes to elite Madden players. And the thing that's funny is he's qualified for every one of our events that you could qualify for in his Madden career, except the club championship, because he's lost in the Seahawks final to K Mike two years in a row. Here's his chance to get over the hump. Well, D Croft will have it first. Quick throw there from Vic. And Moss will move it to the 48-yard line. So second and three, just shy of midfield. As you see them getting all their audibles, getting all their substitutes ready. This is a huge opening try for Decroft. Can't afford to go down early to Kiv. And you're going to see Decroft in this gun trip tight end formation, Scott. He's very comfortable in it. And he said one of the reasons he likes this formation so much is that inside zone right there, he feels it's very, it's much easier to run the ball out of this trip tight end than it is like a gun bunch type formation. So he said expect the inside zone to get busy. And as you saw it getting a little bit busy early on right there. Well, Brian Dawkins just saved a touchdown run. And Fournette was almost gone. Just like that, already down to the 38-yard line. Back again with Fournette. So back-to-back -back runs, two carries for 19 yards, and he's got a second and four from the 32. I'm talking to Kiv last night. He said he is comfortable in this Decroft matchup. Decroft played in one other live event in his career. That was the Madden Classic earlier this season. And Kiv's boy Keynes was the one that beat Croft in the playoff to that tournament. And Kiv said he did discuss with Keynes what Croft likes to do on offense, and he does feel very prepared for this gun trips tight end scheme. Second and four. Another quick throw. Oh, good oh, spin! Oh, baby! Touchdown, Decroft! Wow. Young 18-year-old in his first club event comes out on the opening drive against the defending champion, the dominant young kid, and you just put together seven, no big deal on the opening drive. Got to be feeling good. When you look at Kim's rankings, he's top five against the run and the pass, but he looked pretty silly on this opening drive. Oh, man, what a drive right there by Decroft. And I'm telling you, after talking to Decroft, Scott, a lot of people were counting him out. I've been saying it, that this is going to be a tough game for Kiv. It is so apparent how prepared he is. He's watched so much tape on Kiv. He's laughed with some of the best bunch players there are, like Pavan. He is entrenched in the community, though a lot of people might not know his name. Don't be surprised if you remember it after this game right here, because he is definitely one of the better young up-and-comers that we have. If you come out here and beat young Kiv, hey, that's all you need to put. Hey, just one game. One game, you can get so much respect. You want to be the champ, you got to beat the champ. Here's Young Kim with Vic, and there's some oh, pressure. Oh, scream. And this is going to be interesting, Scott, because Kiv, out of everyone on the ladder, had the number 11 pass offense, but D Cross defense, uh, uh, pass defense was ranked 115 out of 128. So D Cross, not too good at defending the pass, but right here, you wouldn't see that from this replay as he just screamed right off the edge and got the kick to Kim. So second and 19, back all the way up to the 16. Look at downfield as Kiv decides to drop it off to Sharp. He'll get to the 21-yard line. That's going to bring up a third and 14. It's a big play. When you see that blue flicker under Kiv's quarterback, that means he has the gunslinger ability. It helps him get more power on his throws, less of a windup, and more velocity. Gunslinger and conductor for that juiced up Michael Vick. Yep, that's as juiced as you can get a quarterback with gunslinger and conductor. Here's Mike Vick. Oh, wow. Wow, what a dot. Touchdown. Oh, my God. Touchdown. They won't catch him. And we got a tie ball game. And that Mike Vick, that's what he does, Scott. He spent 128 cap on that Mike Vick right there. And he said he will be getting busy on the deep ball. And oh, we saw it right oh, there. Oh, no. I did it to him. I'll take full credit. What's going on? I said we had a tie ball game, but I forgot John Madden football. 
Well, look, take a look at this again, though. Randy Moss all the way open, RG. The touchdown's good, but I'm in shock, Scott. Young kid missing an extra point. And the Achilles heel for Kiv in these tournaments where he doesn't do good has been special teams. He's had his field goal blocked in crucial situations. That's painful for him to overcome. And then a missed extra point. His last two kicks in this building, a block by Jaybird and now a miss extra point. Exactly. That's exactly what it is, Scott. Unbelievable, and he's someone that takes pride in kicking the ball perfect. Every time I talk with him, he says, gee, I kick it perfect every time. I don't know what's going on right there. Maybe Rico or someone will ask him after the game. We got to take maybe a, a look at this again. Unbelievable. You can see it's not even short close. on the kick, and he just, as a Bears fan, I'm starting to have some bad memories. Oh, gee. If you give too, you need, now that's in your head. But he, he has a lot of experience, so hopefully it doesn't hang with him. But I don't care how experienced you are, that's frustrating to go through. That's a mental mistake. And let's see if he can overcome it. Especially if you give up a touchdown here, and then next thing you know, you're chasing the points Ooh. as you be down eight. Yeah, absolutely. Gosh forbid, Croft scores a touchdown, wants to go for two, make it nine. One thing I wanted to tell you, Scott, we were talking about the ability. Something that I thought was interesting is Kiv has spent over 83 cap on abilities for this much salary cap team between all the route specialists, conductors, gunslinger players, and an energizer. Well, Decroft spent none of his... Oh, oh that was baby. nasty. Spent none of his cap on abilities. His cap is all gone towards just having good overall players in the position he wants them to go, and that was a nasty stop and go, Scott. But yeah, I mean... That's something that, you know, the, the man smiling down right now, True Boy, he, he was sort of that stop and go. Problem brought a little bit of it as oh, well. Oh, that's that true stick, Scott. It'll forever be that true stick going on, going, going forward. That stop and go move, he's the one that made it famous. Because when you're playing the user on defense, it's so easy to over-pursue and overrun and just wait and bam. d has got some moves, guys. We... We got a one-point ball game here early, but D. Croft, it's going about as well as it can for the young man. Oh, man, and I'm telling you, this is the matchup he wanted. He said, I knew I would be playing Kiv, but you know what? I'm such a diehard Seahawks fan. I would never not go after Seattle. I know he's in my way, but I'm prepared for him, and I'm ready to test myself. So far, so good for the young man. Wide open. Vic. Well, this is, this is going to be tough. He finds prime time. Dion picks up the first down, first and 10 from the 28. I think we're in for a score fest. I really do. I think it's going to be back and forth. Might be who has it last. I know I said that in the last game, but there's something special about the Seattle Seahawks Club Championship. It just really is. The games are always phenomenal. See Kev over here in a little 4-3 defense. First and 10 for D. Croft. Little motion as the play clock runs down. Hands it out to Fortinette. That's good enough for five. Boy, at this point, I, I, I normally we can kind of predict what play's coming next. D. Croft's got me on my heels. I, I got no idea where he's going. And he says he has a variety of plays out this gun trips tight end. It revolves around that inside zone. But he has a ton of concepts, and he says the reason he loves the trips tight end is he has multiple plays that forces the defense to baseline. If you're not in baseline, he's going to motion his receiver, get the corner route wide open in a couple of his different plays. So he's forcing his opponent on defense to play a specific style. And you see Kiv right there, he's baseline because the receiver's out, the corner's out to the far left, so you know he's in a baseline front. Vic. Oh! Oh, he's Picked picks up by he Dion! Dion! He's down, but it's a touchback. Prime time doing prime time things, and that is huge for the Kiva Scott. This is unbelievable by Kiv. Oh, and that's what you got to worry about, those high passes in traffic. If the ball goes batted up in the air, you know that you get intercepted off the tip. That was huge for Kiv. So he missed an extra point, but now he's got it back with a chance to go down here and take the lead. After the INT and the touchback, first and 10 from the 41. Vic looking downfield, is going to use his legs. What a spin move! Yes. And here's the thing, Scott. 
Kiv has the tier three zone run chemistry active. It's given him plus two spin move to Ooh. all of his players. And he was the only player in this club that got the tier three sprinter chem active. So he's getting plus two speed to all of his players as well. He's told us yesterday, he said maybe there's a handful of players in the Madden community that knows how to juice it up like that. D that sprinter chem, a lot of people have it to tier one or tier two because it gets you the speed. But with Kiv getting it to tier three is so difficult in salary cap, but he was able to do it with this lineup. And that just shows the skills that he has not only on the sticks, but at the roster building as well. There's Tyree Kill. Don't blink, folks. Kiv's five for five for 130 yards. There's the reason he's one of the best passers in all of John Madden football. And he's doing something unique, and I don't think Croft was ready for this. Kidd used the route specialist chems on all three of his wide receivers. He's got Tyreek Hill and Deion Sanders. Oh, he's got room. There's oh, Allen. I was saying, Scott, he has Tyreek Hill and Deion Sanders, both with the elite route cam, and then Randy Moss with the deep route chemistry. So what that does is give them new routes that players might not be used to counteracting against, and it allows them to run a much more unique gun bunch than his opponent may be used to seeing. Something new in Madden 19 we haven't seen in years past. It's been a welcome addition. The, the, it, with the lineup building specifically this year, Scott, you're seeing it a ton of variety with the way these guys are doing their chemistries hey, and their abilities and their power-up players. It's been my favorite year of lineup building that I've seen because of all the uniqueness that these players have. There's Marcus Allen, former USC Trojan. They go absolutely nowhere. We've got three minutes to go in the half. This game is flying by. And Kiv likes that Marcus Allen. He says he, he doesn't cost a lot of cap. He's normally 88 speed, but with Kim's, Kiv's chemistry, he gets him to 90 speed and then also an 85 spin move, which makes him feel he can get very loose with that Marcus Allen in the open field. Let's him play above his rating, Scott. What a user play right there by D. Croft. Plugging up the gap and forcing a third and goal. It's going to be a big play right here. You got to assume that Kiv's just going to take his points if D. Croft can stop him. I know we said it before. Josh Jones is nasty <laughs> at oh, middle linebacker. That middle linebacker, and he's not a lot of cap. I believe he's only 38 cap, Scott, but he's got 90-plus speed and hit power. So he is one of the common themes that you see on a lot of these salary cap lineups. If you're watching at home and you need a salary cap goon, you better go get him. Vic, Empsey's out the backfield. He might he's run got this in. Oh, he got hit. And they're going to mark him down at the one-yard line. He was trying to stretch the ball out. And now he's got to fourth and goal from the half-yard line. And now he's got to make a decision. You I said go. he'd probably take it three, but now that you're on the inch-yard line. Got to go for it. And he is. You see him. He's in the goal line formation. He's using his quick audibles, probably his audibles on the fly, putting a toss in his audibles as well. If you don't use audibles on the fly, you better go and learn that mechanic. It allows you to change your audibles at the play call screen so you can bring what plays you want with you to the line of scrimmage. Every player that it's plays on the half level yard uses line. It. You're right. It's, it's right there, Scott. Fourth and goal from the inch. He's looking toss. Tosses it out to it's Randy close. Moss. He won't what get there. What a tackle. He will not get there. What a stop by D. Croft. And Kiv tried to go scum. Do a little audibles to get Randy Moss in the backfield. He has all that speed, but look at this edge containment, and you're not going nowhere. And Kiv, despite the interception, still down a point, Scott. So now T. Croft, after the stand, remember last time, threw an interception in the end zone. He's got 150. He's got two timeouts. Clock on the move. Ball at the six-yard line. Second and nine. And just so I can elaborate, Scott, it's Josh Jones, middle linebacker, out of position, 34 cap, 78 overall. If you need yourself a salary cap, going at middle linebacker, go and check him out. I hope I didn't just make his price go up on the auction block. <laughs> too much. Out of position and out of his mind. That's a tight window to the 12. And we're going to see a third and three. And I'm not, I'm not sure why Kiv doesn't call a timeout here. That's valuable seconds coming off that clock. That's a good point, Scott. You got three of them. You can't take them with you to the second half. You assume you can get a stop here on third and three. It's a big play. Look at Kiv. Looks like he's dialing up the heat. What Wide a open what a is Randy Moss. I, 
I love that route concept, Scott. You know the heat's coming from the right side. You got a short out route going over there, a short in route. Make the defense, make the decision. And Croft is with an easy read for a first down right there. He said he's very comfortable in this trip tight end, and we're seeing it right there. Took Ed Reed and Brian Dawkins to bring down the big Randy Moss. And now if you're Croft, you need to get some urgency to turn this into some points. There's a big hit at the 35-yard line. Only has one timeout remaining now. Second and four. Going to have to pick up the pace. Yeah, this is big because if you're Croft, Kim's going to get the ball to start the second half. You want to get yourself a touchdown so Kim's playing catch-up. You don't want him to get ahead of you. It's going to be really hard to deal with. This is a huge 40 seconds. He, he's taking his time here, Scott. Has time in the pocket, there and is. there is. Ooh. Oh, he's going to get out of bounds. He's going to get out of bounds, young fella. And he uses the timeout. That's it. That's his last one. Boy, it's never worth that one extra yard to stop the clock. I would have had the opportunity to go out of bounds. I you know you're getting extra yards here, but then go ahead and duck out. There's that verticals, deep cross, and yeah, not getting out of the bounds. Let's see if that comes back to bite him, Scott. Trips to the right, Dion a little motion. And all alone. This is tough. That clock's on the move. It's tick, tick, ticking away. Yeah, kids letting him check down all day long. Oh, he's going for the field goal. This is a smart, mature move right here. It is a huge 54 yards field goal. So this is going to give me kids. This is Greg the leg, clock. though. Come on now. Base elite, Greg the leg. That's a grip. And it is up, and it is right down Main Street. D. Croft with a four-point lead, trying to go into the final to face Mike to see who's going to represent the Seattle Seahawks next week at the club championship. That's in San Francisco at the brand-new studio. They're out at EA's headquarters. That's going to be something else. It's a big drive here, Scott, for the Kiva. Statement drive right here. $1,000 game of Madden just right here, folks. Four-point game. Kiv with the ball, trailing. And he's going to be sacked up. It's a big sack right Khalil there. Khalil Mack. Huge sack for Croft right there. And his kid, I expect Kiv to do a little more quick hiking. He said he wants to get to the line and snap the ball in the hurry and not give Croft the chance to make adjustments like you saw right there. Dion. With that conductor, Scott, it allows you to make adjustments so fast that you can give the defense less time to set up. And Kiv having that's big because D. Croft likes to do, his average is 6.2 defensive adjustments per play, Scott. That's a lot of adjustments. So Kiv trying to get up there, hike the ball, and not give him time to adjust like that. There's Randy Moss. He's in plus territory now at the 42-yard line. Boy, how big has Randy Moss been? He's another one of those staples in salary cap. When you can get a guy that's got 97, 98 speed, 6'4", can catch the ball in traffic, that's just the type of weapon you want in your arsenal on the virtual gridiron. Thick. Oh, got to be careful. He's going to be sacked back at the 46-yard line. That's going to bring up a second and 14. Jari Alexander, D. Croft called it out saying that's one of my best corners. He's going to make a ton of plays from the slot. I like to drop him in the coverage. I like to blitz him right there with the sack. Back to live action here, second and 14. Boy, he could have read a book back there, and Dion nearly picks up the first down. I think they're going to mark him just shy, third and one. Vic, eight of eight now for young Kiv. But young Kiv just so patient. Sure, just 21 years old, but we talked about the amount of games he played. He's last year's champ. This has been the one event that has eluded him, is winning the Seattle Club Championship. And again, he says the pressure is even more this year, not only because he's trying to get the hump off his back, this is the biggest tournament of the MCS season. This is where the majority of the money is to be made. 
and Kiv Evan Mate won the big one last year. We won 100,000. He's trying to repeat that success. So we said there is a, definitely a lot of pressure going into this event, and he'd be lying if he said he wasn't feeling it. Came up short in the Madden Classic just really about a month ago or so. Wait, that's further than that, right? We were in December. Huh? Time has gone by, man. FCW you, you special. You blink in the hollow. Oh, man, goodness. That was phenomenal. I, I'd be lying if I said I hadn't watched it three or four times. Eagle, Eagle. Phenomenal. You did great work on those. Look forward to seeing more of those if the sport continues to grow. And oh, Vic. Wait. That was a tight window. There it is. Got another big third and eight. It's just big play after big play happening in this game. Can D Cross stand up for himself? Good defense there by Fitzpatrick. And the thing I like about Cross, too, you see his defense instead. He's in a nickel 3 3 5 normal look. Again, a little something different than what you see from the normal meta of the nickel normals, the dollars, the crossfires. He's got his own little twist on defense. I love it. And, and there is stack. Khalil Mack. And that's why some of these guys juice up their line. All it takes is one shed. That wasn't even a shed. That was just a great inside move. Watch, he gets loose here and then cuts back to the inside. That's why you go and get yourself a Khalil Mack. And that's what Decroft was able to do. He didn't spend on abilities. See this field goal. He that missed might it. Miss. He missed it. Oh, wow. I'm sick right now. He's missed his last wow. three field goals in this building. Oh, my goodness. It's mental right now. Oh, my goodness. Kids' special teams is destroying them. And for Bears fans, to just turn away. <sighs> what, what I was saying about Decroft and that Max, Scott, since he didn't spend any cap on abilities, it allowed him to spend extra cap on those pass rushers. We'd have a tie game right now. If it wasn't for the kicking game. Yeah, those four points were left on the board strictly from the kicking game. See Fournette getting to the outside here. Lattimore forcing him out and there's at that the 47. In, and that's that inside zone he talked about. He likes it because you can cut it inside, you can cut it outside, you can go right off the tackle. It's one of those ones where if you make the right read, a lot of times it'll have some success. And there he goes right now with the right read, Scott. Needs to get on his horse, though. He's Tim on Star it. Touchdown. Wow, D. Croft makes it a two-possession ball game in the third quarter against Kiv. Oh, man, Kiv, you got some adversity to fight through right now. That was a huge run, Scott. In the biggest event of the season, Croft with the perfect stick work on the inside zone, sticking to his game plan. And the great young kid's back is against the ropes. Gonna have good field position to start this drive at the 42 yard line, but you gotta strike quick. Th that's the good news though for Kivy. He has three timeouts. We still got a minute 40 in the third quarter, Scott. He does have time to definitely get himself back in the ball game, but like you said, not much room for error. He needs to get a go in here. Vic. Boy, he's boxed up right now. And another thing Kim's been having to deal with this season, Scott, hey, is go. remember, he's the defending champion from Madden 18. So now you got that target on your back. You're going to get everybody's best game every time you set up the, get out there on the sticks. And that's what he's having to deal with right now with a young, hungry, feisty Decroft. Brings up a second and 13. Vic and Sharp. Will just gain a few. He's been accurate, nine of ten. But it's been the leg. It's been the kicking game that has really hurt Young Kiv. I don't believe he spent a lot of cap on that kicker, Scott. That's a good read. There's Randy down to the 32. Clock on the move. Here late the third. Yeah, and Kiv, he's rocking the 10 cap Dan Bailey kicker. So you're not going to be able to make a lot of those good kicks, but nonetheless, he still should have been able to hit both of those, despite the 10 cap Dan Bailey. Vic uh oh, throws in the coverage. What a catch by Moss! Oh my goodness! Sometimes, what do they like to say? Sometimes Madden's bad to you. Sometimes <laughs> it's good to you. That was good. Finally, some good right Here's there. Here's a for two Kim. point try. Oh, this is big, Scott. Make this a field goal game right here. Plays like this are not to be underestimated. These are often the plays that can decide a game, Scott. Remember, Decroft stopped him last time he was down here. 
I like seeing Kiv in this deuce close look a, a little different than his bunch. A little something different in the red zone. This is big. Kiv knows how big it is. Might use Vic's legs here. Gotta get Can't. rid of it. Oh. Khalil Mack is really a problem right now for Kiv. Oh, Max is just causing all types of havoc. He's 90 plus overall. There's the touchdown. All types of in traffic. Uh, that's Madden giving you some love, but you know what? If you're going to throw it into traffic to somebody, why not throw it to that big 98 overall, Randy Moss? He's the one that's going to give you a chance to make plays like that. Well, D-Croft's got a little stick. The thing I... D-Croft's been sticky. <laughs> right? Right? He's established that. The thing I liked about Croft right there is he didn't seem to get too tilted over a play that a lot would consider very unlucky. He's rolling with the punches and he's continuing to go with it. And that's what you need to be able to do is have that mental capacity if you want to beat a player the skill level of Young Kiv. If you just join us, Young Kiv missed an extra point, missed a long field goal. And then also remember he went for it on fourth and inches from the goal line. It was fourth and goal from the inch oh, line yeah. and before the half. Up. And, and didn't convert, so that's, in my bad math, that's 11 points, 11 points he on could the board. have. 11 points left on the field. Yep. And if he kicked the field goal, it's seven points. It gives him the lead. Right here, if you kid, you just can't let up the touchdown, Scott. We're in the fourth quarter, you put your fours up, and this is where it's gonna get down to the nitty gritty. And I'm not talking HQ. Yeah, needs the turnover, or hold him to a field goal. Ooh, that's Ixon! That's Ixon, Scott! His stick work's real. You were saying it and you're not joking. His stick work is very real. He's got the true stick. He is averaging close to 13 yards a carry now. Fournette looking to get... Ooh! Ew! If I had stick work like this, I might actually be able to win some games online. <laughs> well, everybody's putting their, you know, their... 10-year challenge up on Twitter. I think that's where your game is. Yeah. A lot sticker in 09 <laughs> yeah. and it is in 2019. It's lost the step of four. <laughs> Second and eight. He's in field goal range here. If Kiv can hold him, we still got a one possession game. You give up a touchdown here and Kiv's really going to be in a hard spot here. It'll be interesting right here to see how Decroft manages this clock. That's one of the things the younger players have trouble with. You see right there. It's picked he, oh, off! He threw, it. he threw a book! It was Dion guarding Dion. And the defensive primetime comes up with a pick. And to me, this was the worst play of the game for Croft. You're in a situation where you should be controlling the clock. You leave 11 seconds on the play clock. You snap it. And then you throw a read that could get you starring in the next bird box. And now Kiv's got you against the ropes. He's on the guap drive. Four minutes to go now. The four-minute offense engaged here for Kiv. Oh, that's devastating for Decroft. You've been playing an immaculate game. You had that nasty run. You're getting in the red zone, looking to make it an eight-point eight game. And now all of a sudden, you're on defense and your heart's probably dropped to your toes. Sharp with a few yards there. Second and five. Just shy of midfield here. 3.30 to go. Eagle, eagle. And it's up to Kiv. Is he going to make this a final drive? Or will he strike quick? Right now, if you're Kiv, I believe you're just worried about getting these points on the board more so than anything. And you got to go to your number two, two-point conversion play here if you want to try to go up three. That's what, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, maybe he'll run the same one. But yeah, he definitely was locked up on that last two-point conversion with Mack screaming off that edge. And there's Tyree Hill gets away from one, close to the yard to gain. Just shy at the 19-yard line. He's in the red zone with under three minutes to play. Scott Cole and RG with you here. You're watching the Seattle Seahawks Club Championship. It's as good as advertised, folks. Young kid trying to make it to the finals for the third time in a row to play K. Mike for the third time in a row. D. Croft at his first club event, trying to make a name for himself, going up against the Madden 18 defending champion. There's glory to be had here, Scott. Eagle, eagle. 
Just 22 seconds away from the two minute warning. First and 10 from the 18 yard line. Kiv. Oh, that post route's wide open. Randy Moss hauls it in. And Kiv has the lead. And that's why you want that deep route specialist, Scott. It allows you to hot route him onto that post route from the slot. You get him wide open in that second level over those underneath zones. And now Kiv with a huge two-point conversion play. You called it, Scott. Does he go back to what worked last time or does he try that didn't work last time or does he try something new? I think he's going to try something new here. Boy, that deep post for the last three years oh, and maybe for years go, beyond go, that has been go, go, go. devastating. A little different look here. Watch the table route to the running back with the tight end blocking for him, no. Goes back and somehow Randy Moss hauls it in for the two points. Good grief. Oh my goodness, Randy Moss. Doing it all. Touchdown, the two point conversion, whatever you need him to do right there. And Kiv's had some fortunate catches from Moss in that red zone, but hey, you gotta put the hands in the, you gotta put the ball in the hands of your playmakers in clutch time. And there's no better playmaker in Mutt salary cap right now than that Randy Moss fully powered up. If you're the young D-Croft, you got to put this in perspective right now. You're only three points behind the champ. Yeah. With 2.10 to go. This game is yours. This game is yours to lose right now. You can go down and win it right here. And besides that interception, he's been looking very good on offense, Scott. Running the ball, finding receivers open. But Kiv's going to send the pressure right now. That's one thing that Kiv does phenomenally, Scott, is when the situation's at his biggest, he's not scared to send that heat and make you, force you to make a play. So I expect the heavy blitz scheme coming from Kiv on this drive. Two minute warning. Both our competitors with full timeouts, three apiece, on second and two from the 33. Needs a field goal to tie it. Yep, there it is. There goes Kiv. He's sending six players off of the edge, and he's telling Decroft, you know what? You're going to have to make a quick read and play with fire with my user. Sean Taylor with a stop. That's one of the first times he stopped the inside zone run for no gain. Actually pushes him back. It's going to be third and four. Coming down to the last opportunities here for Decroft. Five man rush. What a play by Croft. And there is Julio Jones, who already has a touchdown already. Well, we've seen a wild game here. Decroft's thrown two interceptions. Kiv has missed two kicks. Unbelievable. Daniel Mycroft, 18 years old, lives 30 minutes right outside, outside of Seattle, Washington. Diehard Seahawks fan. Finds himself on a guap drive with a minute 10 in the fourth quarter, Scott, against the defending champion. And you know what, if, if, if you're Decroft, this is where you want to be, Scott. The ball in your hands on the game-winning drive. You wouldn't want it any other way. Mike is waiting in the final. There's that pressure. That was huge from Taylor. A little emotion from Kiv right there. He knows that was huge, Scott. Look at it. Boy, unblocked. I told you, Kiv is going, he, and it's what the best players do in these high pressure situations. They are not scared to send the house and force you to make plays. Somehow got that one in there. There it is. There it is, Scott. Fourth and three, 37 seconds to go. Kiv uses a timeout here. This is intense, Scott. There he goes. This will tie it, a 55 yarder. It's going to be close. Kick is up and it is oh, the no! crossbar. Barkley. Chicago Bears fans, turn your head away. I'm having flashbacks here. This is this is painful to watch. The kicking game but, has let, betrayed both our competitors. And but here's the question, Scott: Did they betray themselves? Both of these guys going with 10 cap type kickers. You're not spending a lot of your salary on a kicker. And this is the price that you end up paying for something like that. You are in control of your roster. If you really wanted to, you could go out and get yourself a Justin Tucker focus kicker for whatever cap, and he's going to make hit and field goals like that. A kicker for whatever cap, and he's going to make hit and field goals like that. A walk in the park. These are the risks you take with your lineup creation, Scott. It's not over just yet, though. Croft still has his two timeouts, Scott. Kev needs the first it's down. Over. Wide it's open Tyreek Hill. Got to get down. GG's. Oh, my gosh. What a ball game.
GG's in the chat. Unbelievable. Somehow, Kiv perseveres. And we're going to have a rematch. It's going to be Mike and young Kiv will play for the title the third year in a row with Mike winning the last two. Mike has still not lost a game in the club championship. He's 19-0. and But how about Kiv? I've seen him win games in many different ways. This might be the best. 